I am so ready to show you guys number 3 because I have a really cool way to show you guys how we can factor our trinomial. Here we have x squared minus 2x minus 24. I would like to show you guys a tic-tac-toe method to factor this out. And what we do first is draw the tic-tac-toe box like this. And then we are going to start off with figuring out what times what will give us x squared. Well, we know that x times x will give us x squared. That's like the only choice, so that's it. Pretty easy, right? For these two boxes, it's slightly harder because we have to figure out what times what we can get negative 24. And then we have a couple choices for that. We may have negative 8 times positive 3, that's negative 24. How about negative 2 times positive 12? That's also equal to negative 24, right? But then which combination is correct? We don't know at the moment. And for demonstration purpose, let me just put down negative A and pass this through right here. And this is what we can do to do the check. So for the check, we're just going to take this x, multiply diagonally with this 3, x times 3, that will give us 3x. And then I will take the negative A, multiply diagonally with this x, and then that will give us negative ax. And then we'll combine these two results. 3x minus ax, that will give us negative 5x. Well, this is not the same as the original. We were looking for to get negative 2x. That's what the middle term is for. Negative 5x is certainly not the same as negative 2x. So negative 8 and pass these 3 is not the correct choice. That means we have to just go back and then just pick another combination. So let me undo everything. And sometimes we may not be able to factor our trinomial, but in this case, we know we can because the answers are in front of us right here, right? Anyways, um, let me just kind of tell you what times what will give us negative 24 the correct way in this case. We are actually going to use negative 6 times positive 4. And how do we know if this is correct or not? Once again, we do the check. We take this x, multiply diagonally with this 4, and by the way, the word that doesn't matter. I could have put a 4 here and a negative 6 right here. Doesn't really matter in this case because both of them are x. So that I just want to make that remark. Anyways, let me continue. x times 4, that's 4x. And then here I will take negative, negative 6, that's negative 6, just one negative 6. <laughs> Multiply with this x. Negative 6 times x, that's negative 6x. As you can see, when we combine 4x with negative 6x, that's exactly negative 2x and that's exactly the original. So we know that two, negative 2x and this negative 2x match. So we know this is correct. So we multiply diagonally and then put on the results right here, combine these two results. And this is what we have to you know, make sure that it's the same as the original. We multiply diagonally to check. For the answer, we are going to read it across. So I can write this as a factor of x minus 6 times x. This is a positive 4, so I'll write down plus 4, x plus 4 into the second parentheses. Therefore, x squared minus 2x minus 24, I can factor the out as x minus 6 times x plus 4. And if you want to do the for you of this, after you multiply everything out, you will get back with that. And now let's see what's the answer to this question. The question is asking us for the one factor of this trinomial only. We have x minus 6, which is right here. Therefore, it has to be answer choice A. Even though it didn't give us x plus 4, but that's okay. We're only looking for one of the factors. So answer choice A, that's the answer for number 3. This is it.